Hello, I'm Atu Jumir and you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime at Night. An enthralling choral concert was organized by Task Force for Music and Arts and Embassy of Latvia at the Regional Center of Excellence for Music and Performing Arts Saturday evening at Totsuma Village in Kohima. A choral voice comprising of as many as 40 youngsters sang songs both in English and Latvian, mesmerizing the crowd during the choral music show dubbed as an evening of choral expression. I want to thank Hornbill TV for this special coverage of tonight's program. We are just about an hour away from the finale of the four days intensive conducting and voice training uh, done by the Latvian professionals and professors uh, and training about more than 40 of our young boys and girls. The children are doing exceptionally well. The ambassador of Latvia has a lot of good things to say about our children. In particular, he was very, very impressed with the way our children picked up uh, songs in Latvian in such a short span of time, singing per perfect La Latvian language songs. So he was thoroughly impressed with that. And hopefully, uh, like the, our ambassador was saying, the Latvian ambassador, that this is hopefully not just a little spark that should end, but hopefully a spark that will continue to burn brighter in the days to come with more collaborations, more exchange programs and residencies, which will have a, a positive impact on our youth, in particular our music industry. Speaking to Hornbill TV, advisor of Tafma Teja Meru said, shared how four-day intensive training on voice training was conducted for young boys and girls by Latvian professional choir conductor at Dimapur, following which a grand finale was held in form of choral music at RCEMPA. He was appreciative of the children picking up so well with the songs they were taught, particularly those in Latvian language. Meru expressed excitement that in the future too, there would be such workshops and exchange programs too with the Latvian embassy. He also acknowledged the Chief Minister of Nagaland for such initiative and the Latvian government for collaborating with Nagaland to train upcoming singers. With the support of the Latvian government, of the Latvian Foreign Office, and with the government of Nagaland and with TAFMA, we have arranged the one week long master classes in choral music, choral singing, choral conducting. Uh, knowing that here in Nagaland you have a very strong tradition in, the, in singing, in general in vocal art as such, but uh, also in the choral singing, which is a strong thing for my country. And I'm very happy that we have managed uh, with this um, co-financing and co-project to bring uh, one of the leading conductors of this uh, mega choir uh, to work for one week here in Nagaland with your uh, both your students and school children, but also with the educators, with the conductors, uh, to to share their valuable uh, experience in uh, in chor choral music and to develop your local talents that you are so rich of. And uh, we are also, I had the opportunity to meet uh, honorable chief minister, and we also thought already about the future steps, uh, how we could strengthen cultural exchange, but also that. Uh, we should pick up some, some things on economy, also on economic cooperation. Artis Pertuli, ambassador of the Republic of Latvia to the Republic of India, told Hornwheel TV that they have been conducting master classes in choral music, choral singing and choral conducting during the past days with the support from both the government of Nagaland and Latvian government. Acknowledging both Nagaland and Latvia of the vibrant culture of choral singing, he informed how thousands gather for choral singing in his country once in five years during music festivals. Pertuli informed that they had brought leading choral conductors to train and develop the youngsters to develop theo talents in choral music. He also shared how they had met the Chief Minister of Nagaland to have more cultural exchange programs with a view to boost economy of the state. 